Uh, this next song is called Take Me Back to Where I Fell in Love with You, parentheses. And uh, it was it's just a song that I wrote. It's kind of just about feelings of when you want to find the place that you actually fell in love. So here we go. Back to the place we first fell in love. Take all of me, I want to know all of you. Take me home, I want to find myself new. Take me back to the place we first fell in love. Magical thing. It was more than just a fling. When you looked at me with eyes so true, take me back to where I fell in love with you. When you fly, I want to be the wind beneath When you sleep, I want to be what you dream Take me back to the place we first fell in love When you're scared, I want to calm all your fears when you cry, I want to dry all your tears Take me back to the place we first fell in love Such a magical thing It was more than just a flame When you at me here with eyes so true take me back to where I fell in love with you when you looked at me here with eyes so true take me back to where I fell in love with you welcome back to Minstrels on the Block getting a little closer as seen on the Playgrounds Magazine TV show with Will Dockery and Kitty Clyde, The Tale of the Beach. We're getting to it in just a moment. First of all, so BJ, what do you think of the local music scene? Oh, I love it. It's, we have a lot of really great artists that have really... Um, they're, they're paying, a lot of our artists are paying dues right now, and I myself am paying the dues to, to be considered a, a real artist. And that uh, the thing that that I find so so encouraging about our music scene is the fact that uh, that there is so much collaboration. Because any artist out there that's maybe watching the show right now, the biggest thing I can tell you is collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. You you need to make sure because as you collaborate, your music style changes a little bit. Sometimes uh, we get stuck in a rut and we're making the same song over and over and over again and the diff the thing that changes it up is whenever you get another artist and you just play with them. Even if you're not playing original songs, even if you're just getting together to play Led Zeppelin or The Grateful Dead together with them, you're still changing up styles and you're changing your your way of looking at things. And I think that the Columbus music scene has some great people to collaborate with as well as people that are looking to collaborate a lot with other artists so um, I mean 
I, I take the way that I look at, at music to be, um, John Bon Jovi said it, I know, 80s hair band, but uh, still one of my favorites. Uh, he said one time that you should always, in making a band, you find people that are way better than you will ever be and then trick them into working for you. And that's what I've done. I, I think I think I've, <laughs> I've I've found people that are way better than I'm ever going to be at what they do, and uh, and I've gotten them to do things for me. <laughs> so, um, the in the music scene in Columbus is is basically why that is possible. Why it's possible to find people that will help you out, will will do things. I mean, um, John Phillips uh, playing all those instruments on the. Uh, on the album, and not to mention the fact that you have to book John way in advance if you want him to play with you, because he's probably going to be somewhere else at night. <laughs> and uh, he's that much of a talented musician, but working with him has really, really helped the the album. Some of the songs sounded completely different after he put his touches on them, um, which is weird because it didn't change anything about the way that I played the song. It changed the way the song sounded. Right. And that's that's what I think is important about this this group of people. I mean, my friend Sean Rocks, who I will probably be hanging out with later on tonight, he um he's he's another one of the guys that I'll sit down and play with and it changes the entire way that I that I sound. Mm -hmm. It changes everything about that. And so I really think that that's part of it. Jenny Woolfolk, who actually did some backing vocals on the album, The Dial of the Beach, it really it, it changed it around, and she is she's a, an amazing songwriter herself, as well as an amazing vocalist and uh, guitarist and musician. Yes. And her uh, her other half, I'm not gonna say better, but other half, Dan Davidson is, is a phenomenal. Phenomenal. Musician. He he is just really great and talented, and uh, and these guys are all in the music scene. That you know, and it's funny because I just celebrated a birthday, and all those guys were sending me messages on happy birthday. Brian Fowler and Dan and John, and all of those guys, you know. And I was thinking to myself, man, there's some really great talent around here that uh, that needs to be tapped into in certain areas. Um, sometimes I think the club scene ask them to do too many covers instead of saying hey we have some really great original artists around here that really could make something of themselves and something of our venues as i've always said the very first time you ever heard your favorite song on the radio you had never heard it before and it wasn't original keep yeah. that in mind and that leads me to what would you like to see happen in the valley? I, would, I would like to see in the valley uh, music scene i would like to see more of these promoters and club owners being able to ask us to play but being able to ask us to play original stuff and uh, basically that also falls back on us doing the legwork to make sure that we go out there and put our music in people's yeah. hands and get them where they're listening to it in their car and they mm -hmm. show up to the show and that's the song they want to hear because they've heard it so many times and then they get to hear it live from the artists that they, they right. want to hear and uh, I've always said that local celebrity is good as national celebrity because local celebrity is exactly where you live. So if you're a celebrity there, those are the people you know. Those are the people that, that they're treating you as like a celebrity there. That's yeah. always the best because of the fact that, uh, um, that that's, that's it. That's your world right mm -hmm. there. So um, that's, that's what I would like. I'd like to see artists be able to flourish as artists instead of just as uh, playing jukeboxes. Right. Every national celebrity was once a local celebrity. <laughs> yes, exactly. Eddie Zedek in Atlanta. Perfect example. People pay to go watch people play their original songs. Speaking of awesome original songs, that brings us to The Tale of the Beach.